Hey guys, how are you? Today I just wanted to do a quick, well, I don't know how quick it's going to be because it takes me forever. <laughs> um, I wanted to put together just a quick video on my face makeup routine, like when I'm going out or going on a date or if I'm planning on having pictures taken or if I'm doing a video. I'm one of those people that would prefer to be able to have just a really gorgeous flawless finish when it comes to my face than I would just like a gorgeous eye makeup look if that makes sense. I believe in good skincare. I believe in being able to apply foundation just like seamlessly flawlessly because that basically is where most of your makeup is on your face. So anyway if you want to know what I do to get ready whenever I'm kind of going all out doing a full glam look when it comes to my face. Um, stay tuned and I will take you step by step. I went ahead and did part of my eyes off camera but um, what I always start with is either a moisturizer or a primer. I, I like to use this one by Tatcha called Silk Canvas and I take it on my fingertips and I gently smooth it all over my face. It's gotten really chilly outside here in South Alabama. So this time of year, I like to, especially being a little bit older, um, I feel like if I don't have some dewiness to my skin or some hydration, I feel like you can see, like once I put my base on or foundation, you can see the imperfections a lot more clearly. So what I like to do after I do my primer is add just a little bit more hydration with um, this MAC Fix Plus and I just shake it really good and then I just spritz it on my face and let that dry real quick. We're going to use it a few more times as well so this is the last time you'll see it. <laughs> and what I'm going in next with is my foundation and today I really really am loving this Milani Drugstore brand foundation. I've probably gone through about four, four or five bottles of this so far. Um, you're going to see me first spread it out, even it out with the foundation brush by Morphe. And then I'm going to dampen a beauty blender and I'm going to kind of smooth it all over um, with some Fix Plus on top of that. I like to start kind of like down here around my jawline in the middle of my face. And I usually do like my forehead last. Also, don't forget your neck. Now I'm going to take a blend, my blending sponge and dampen it again with Fix Plus. And I'm going to take the remainder of what I have um, left from my foundation and just kind of pat it into the skin. This gives you more of a just kind of seamless, flawless finish when it comes to foundation. Um, I don't like to see, well, nobody wants to see brush strokes and um, like a foundation line or anything. You want to make sure it's really blended out and it just kind of looks like a second skin instead of just a bunch of foundation like caked up on your face. So dampening this at the end and just kind of pressing into the skin really gets it to sink in where you want it. So I have gotten to where I really like to cream contour with um, a concealer. And today I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I've really, really enjoyed this for contouring and it is um it's also very inexpensive and it's very nice like just it, the the wear is great the pigment payoff is wonderful 
Um, the reason I use a concealer is because concealers, which is why they're so expensive, they are so heavily pigmented and um, they will go a long way just with a little tiny bit. So what I do is I just take a little bit on my brush. beauty sponge What I'm going to do next is apply a setting powder all over the face before I go in with the bronzer. And today I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. Next I'm going to go in and contour with my bronzer. This is the Marc Jacobs, um, I believe it's called Tantastic Bronzer. With the bronzer, I'm just gonna go in where I did my cream contour. This is just going to warm up the face and add more dimension to it. Next, I'm going to go in and bake underneath the eyes and then below my contour. Um, underneath the eyes, I'm going in with this Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. Um, underneath the contour line, I'm going to go in with my Ben Nye uh, Luxury Powder, the Banana Powder. So off camera, I quickly finished out my lower uh, ash line, <laughs> my lower lash line and applied some lipstick. And my next step is going to be blush. And so I'm gonna go into my Morphe Blush Trio Pop of Coral. And it comes with these three shades right here. And I'm just gonna take my brush and apply to my cheekbones. I like a lot of blush guys. <laughs> I'm that girl. And also I like to apply a little bit on the tip of my nose. Okay. So after that, I'm going to go into a highlight and this is called Lunch Money and it's a ColourPop highlight, Super Shock Cheek Highlight. I'm obsessed with ColourPop's highlights. They're amazing. So, I'm going to take a brush that I used to highlight with, and this formula is so cool, guys. Like, if you touch it, it just kind of bounces. I love it. I think it's, like, the most awesome thing ever, and this highlight is gorgeous. more intense highlight you can even go with your finger around that same area and then just kind of blend it out on the nose why not apply some on the forehead <laughs> Okay, next I'm gonna again go in with my translucent setting powder from ColourPop and just kind of 
pop it all over just to keep the makeup in place. And then after that, I'm gonna go with my Continuous Mist Setting Spray from Morphe. Let that dry. So I know this may seem like just a ton of steps and if you don't care that much then there's no sense in you going through these steps just do like a primer a foundation maybe a bronzer blush a setting powder and you're gone um, this is just something I like to do I don't do this with every makeup look I don't do it for my daily makeup looks I normally do this for when I'm going somewhere I'm putting together videos or something like that um, that's just kind of my more flawless picture-perfect face makeup routine so anyway also I wanted to recommend to you this eye look I have going on is with the Bretman X ColourPop wet palette that I mean it's gorgeous see what I mean though I mean look at that are those colors not gorgeous <laughs> I'm obsessed I think they're beautiful and they're perfect for like a wintry just night out I don't know it just reminds me of like a winter wonderland I'm just obsessed so if you want to see a tutorial on this eye look I'll be glad to show it to you just let me know in the comments or send me a message well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something from it um, I feel like nothing makes a makeup appearance come together like a just flawless face um, that's why I firmly believe in good skincare and taking care of your skin because um, I just feel like you will be able to to just put your makeup look together that much better if you have well taken care of skin so anyway i hope you like this video like i said give it a thumbs up let me know what you want to see next and you guys have a great december see you soon